Next thing you know, the dishes in the kitchen were rattling. Plunk, and down she comes. Today, Northeast Wisconsin taking stock of the damage left by last night's severe weather. It looked like a war zone for the last six blocks from here. It was pretty bad. There's trees everywhere and all. Communities coming together for the cleanup effort. And despite damage to property, people are thankful the storm spared them from injury. You can plant a new tree, but you can't get a new body and a new person or a son, father, whatever. We're lucky. Coverage of the spring storm tops Action 2 News at 5. And good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. Authorities confirming tornadoes did indeed hit Wisconsin last night. This aerial view shows the damage west of Wausau, closer to home. The National Weather Service surveying damage in the Kakana area, one of several local communities hit hard by high winds and heavy rain. Tonight, team coverage of the storm's aftermath. It starts in Kakana with Samantha Cavalli, where emergency responders are documenting the damage. The city of Kakana taking a brunt of last night's severe thunderstorms, primarily here at the Roundhouse Manor. As you can see, just on the roof here, part of it is missing and did go into the canal. We're being told that over 50 residents have since been relocated. Streets throughout Kakana becoming a mess overnight and Tuesday's severe weather. Alyssa Jansen tells me multiple branches on a tree in her front yard fell and blocked the road. With the help of some friendly neighbors, Jansen says they were able to move the tree out of the way. We just moved in in August last year, so we're still getting the hang of having what we need and whatever, and we didn't have a chainsaw, so it was nice to have neighbors come help. And actually, we're the only ones without power still because it totally detached from our house, and they're letting us run our refrigerator off their power. Right now, um, you know, our, the community emergency response team is out, and they're taking pictures of the damage, and, you know, we can see a pretty distinct line just cutting through um, the whole city. The city's mayor tells me that residents may not be able to come back here for weeks, even up to a month after this storm damage. Right now, the Red Cross is assisting those who are in need of shelter. In Kakana, Samantha Cavalli, Action 2 News. Meanwhile, the Green Bay trees crashed into homes and homeowners say they feel overwhelmed by the damage. Brittany Schmidt was there as they begin to pick up the pieces. Gimme, Bill, this is a close up of an uprooted tree in the backyard of Diana Rush. She lives here on Cary Lane in Green Bay, and she was hit very hard by the severe storm yesterday. Six of her trees in the backyard are now done. They three have at least been uprooted. One is on the house. Let me show you a different angle of the damage here in her backyard. Diana shared these photos with us to show the extent of the tree on her roof and a power line fell right in her backyard. It's not through the ceiling of the upstairs. So, but it's, it's really crushing. It, as time, yes, as time has gone by, the, it's been getting worse and worse. Right. So right. I'm hoping to get that soon. I have family coming later too to help. Based on the noise she heard during the storm yesterday. I just heard this roaring sound and like crashing. She knew her backyard was damaged. I didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. um, I knew it would be bad, but it's just it's overwhelming. A neighbor across the street, Robert Cruz, says he's been through hurricanes, but describes last night's storm as different. I went through Maria with my family, so but down here, it's different because these winds, they don't give you any warning. You know, everything happened on a heartbeat. Cruz says he reported the damage on the city's website. He woke up to this yellow tape in his front yard, blocking off a street light that had snapped in half. A tree went down in the backyard, too, wiping out power to many homes on the street, including rushes. Diana says she's already been taking a ton of photos and videos to submit to her insurance. She's already been in talks with them. She's hoping to get the larger branches on the house removed really quickly here because they are continuing to weigh in on the house as the day goes on. She's hoping to hear from insurance here shortly, but she is devastated with her backyard. This was her oasis, but she is thankful that no one was injured and that they will be able to rebuild out here soon. Reporting in Green Bay, Brittany Schmidt, Action 2 News. Brittany, thanks. Crews also working very hard to clean up damage in Door County today. Workers clearing fallen trees scattered across roadways in Egg Harbor with lanes being restricted throughout Door County by those working crews. Homeowners also checking up on the damage, clearing wood pieces from driveways, some trees landing on the outside of houses there too. A Dykesville homeowner feels very lucky to have made it through the night without any personal injuries. If that would have come another six feet over, then the, the backside of my house would be gone. And that's all stone. You can't replace it. You'd have to 
tear everything off. So I think I got, I'm pretty lucky the way it landed. Let's take a quick look now at the Wisconsin Public Service power outage map. Right now, as of right now, about 2,000 We Energy customers and less than 5,000 WPS customers are still without power. Over 30,000 homes and businesses lost power in eastern Wisconsin at its peak, though by noon that number was down to under 10,000.